Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to create and configure Active Directory Integrated DNS on. So first let's understand what is Active Directory Integrated DNS on. The Active Directory Integrated DNS zone stores its zone data file inside the Active Directory database and it does not need to store DNS zone files locally. It is in fact an authoritative primary zone and the data gets replicated to other domain controller as a part of Active Directory's replication process. So in organizations if a DNS server is installed and configured on a computer that is also playing the role of Active Directory domain controller, the administrator can configure the Active Directory integrated DNS zones to allow a smooth DNS replication without any headache. Otherwise, we have to face in order to configure the DNS replication separately. Uh, we can also say we have to configure DNS zone transferring. So instead the server stores the DNS resource record for the DNS in the Active Directory database. Storing the DNS database in Active Directory provides several advantages uh, including ease of administration, uh, conservation of network bandwidth and uh, increase the security. In uh, Active Directory integrated zones, the zone database is uh, replicated automatically to other domain controllers along with all other Active Directory data. Active Directory use multi-master replication system so that copies of the DNS database are updated on all domain controller in the domain. You can modify the DNS resource record on any domain controller hosting a copy of the DNS zone database and Active Directory will update all the other domain controller automatically. So you don't need to create a secondary zone or manual configure DNS zone transferring because Active Directory performs all the database replication activities. So for this demonstration uh, for our domain uh, that is mylove.local and we have a two domain controller one is the SRTF and DC01 and second one is the SRTDC02. So under our uh, DNS manager under for the zone we have a two DNS zone one is on the scope mstcs.mylove.local and second one is on mylove.local and similar on our uh, SRTDC02 we have a two DNS zone. One is msdcs.mylove.local and second one is mylove.local. So on uh, our uh, srtdc01, so let's create another for lookup zone, select new zone, click on next, select primary as well as we want to create the active directory integrated, click on next. Now by default Windows Server 2012 R2 replicates the database for a primary zone store in a active directory to all other domain controller running the DNS server in the active directory domain where the primary is located. You can also modify the scope of a zone database application to keep copies on all domain controllers throughout the enterprise or on all domain controllers in active directory domain service domain. So whether or not they are running the DNS server. You can also create a custom replication scope that uh, copies the zone database into domain controller you specify. So here is the options but we didn't create any uh, partition that's why the options is grayed out. So click on next and here I'm going to specify the name and as a paper cast local click on next click on next and finish. Okay and inside let's create a one a new alias name just for testing okay here you go so this is the active directory integrated zone as you are seeing uh, dns zone type is active directory integrated and replication scope is configured or dns server in this domain okay now let's check on our second server and here we have only two zone so let's once i'm going to restart the dns server service okay here we go click on refresh and if we x1 for lookup zone now as you are seeing we have a three zone and as you are seeing we have an assertive of course local and with the, all these records are here and also we can add or remove any records and that will be add or remove automatically from the server see as you are seeing we have a uh, same copies we start over the number is same on both server but here we have a two name server records and uh, here we have a uh, only one record for uh, the our uh, names ns1 srtdc01 and it will be automatically updated once the uh, activity completes the uh, replication process so if i remove this record from here 
and just for testing just delete the record and now if you see come back on our uh, sftdc01 and let's check here we have a record and it's still not uh, deleted from this so for a uh, quick demonstration i'm going to open the site.msc okay let's uh, menu to replicate the connection between these two okay and here we go okay now let's check on uh, our dns server click on refresh just i'm going to restore the dns server service okay click on refresh and if you see now here we go so the record is removed so you can update uh, records on uh, any of your uh, dns server in your organization this is the way how you can uh, create active directory integrated dns on